Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial video, we are going to see that how can we create this star like graphic in Adobe Illustrator. As you can see that this graphic or vector is very simple and very elegant. Uh, and apart from that, it covers some of the basic features which can be used in effectively creating vectors at the later stages. So let us start with our tutorial. First of all, go to file and just click on this new option. Alternatively, you can also press Ctrl and N to get this kind of a screen in front of your eyes. Then just rename it as star vector. And keeping on the width and height as 1000 pixels each, bleed at 1 pixels and the orientation of a portrait with one artboard, click on create. And as soon as you do that, you will find that a new artboard has been created in front of you. Now what we are going to do is just create our star. But before that, we are going to get some guides so that our star is created with a perfect symmetry so for that go to view here you will find an option called guides so just click on it and if you find this option called hide guides as on then you do not need to do anything else and then just go to rulers and click on this show rulers option now from these rulers, we can easily create out some of the guides. Okay, so this is the star that we have created and oops. Okay, so just select a black stroke for a time being for our star. Now you can just turn off these guides. So for that, you can just go to view guides and click on clear guides option. Now just drag this shape over here. Now what we're going to do is just go to layers, expand it and lock this particular layer by clicking on over here now this will act as a matrix for our star that is going to be created actually so just grab onto your pen tool and draw some shapes like this now for the reference what we are going to do is just change its color to a shade of a green or yellow or red it's what I'm going to, do, to choose basically any other color than the background color that we have got then just again grab onto your pen tool again zoom in into your matrix and yes so that is the basic shape of the star that we have got and then what we're going to do is just select both of these shapes and press ctrl g to group them together then just press ctrl c to copy them and ctrl shift v to paste them in place and then rotate this shape a little bit now you 
can see that we have turned the visibility of our basic star matrix as off so yeah this is what it's gonna look like you gotta arrange it by rotating it a little bit like this so that it perfectly aligns with the shape that we have already created all right so that's exactly what we wanted and that's what we're going to do with our remaining parts okay so now this is the vector that uh, we have got and it is a matrix so what we are going to do now is just select one of these shapes like here just this shape is what we need to select and not its whole group so just select this shape and instead of this blank fill we are going to fill it with a color but this time we are going to choose the shades of the color so just double click over here and we are going to choose this uh, color with this hexadecimal value so if you want you can just copy it press ok and for the other uh, half of this shape we are going to just apply a different kind of a color the same color but um, you can just copy this uh, just paste this hexadecimal value of the previous color and just apply a darker shade of orange like this and press ok and that's too dark so if you want you can just choose a brighter orange so these are the two shades that i have got and that's exactly what we are going to do with the rest that is just select this uh, particular shape and using the color picker tool just pick this particular color so now i have colored all these stars so just select all of these shapes together and change their stroke value to a none 
now when you do that you can see that this is the star that we have created you can just select it all press ctrl g to group all this data together and now it would be moved together so this is the star vector that we have created in adobe illustrator and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial if you do please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye